Hi, I'm Michaela Doyle. I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and I'm a senior here studying marketing and sales. So today I'm gonna to be talking about financial aid and how it helps and how it could help you. So your success coach, your advisor in your financial aid office, they're all there to help you. So utilize them. You can ask them about different scholarships. What's the best scholarship to apply for? You know, are there any ones that are specific to me? Um, what websites to go through? They're there to help you. So please, please, please utilize them. So I use my scholarships and my financial aid to the fullest. I apply for everything I can, even if I know I'm, I might not get it. You never know. They have some websites that you can use. Um, Pinterest is one of the good ones you can use. They have a lot of um, just scholarships. You can even look at specific ones, maybe even for your school. I use a lot of the University of Toledo scholarships that they offer. Um, they have the in general ones and they have the ones that's specific to your college. Um, I know there's Scholarship Owl and there's a lot of different scholarship websites that you can use. So I have a few tips for paying for college. Um, always, always, always file your FAFSA. You never know how much you're gonna get. And with that, a lot of your scholarships, you to apply for them, you have to have a FAFSA on file or even get them. So always apply, even if you don't get anything, always apply for FAFSA, just having that on file really helps. Save up as much as you possibly can. You know, work if you can while in high school and just so you have a little bit of cushion when you go to college, just in case you can't work and you're taking on a full class load. Um, what I did to help pay for college was I took college credit college credit plus classes so I knocked out about 35 credit hours before I came here all for free so if you can do CCP classes I would highly recommend that and money is a hard conversation there's no doubt about that so make sure to sit there and talk to your parents about what are their ideas for money for you for college how are how it's going to get paid for are they going to pay for it? are you going to pay for you're going to have to take out a loan loans are not always the end of the world I promise Taking out, it's almost like an investment in you. So taking out just a little bit to get your education started, there's nothing wrong with that. So when it comes to FAFSA, I am always super quick to file it. October 1st, every year, I make sure I'm on it. Um, the best advice I can give to FAFSA is take it slow, take it easy. Um, it's a really stressful process. And the more you just kind of slow it down and think about it, um, it'll be a lot easier for you, a lot less stressful. Um, save all usernames and passwords. Um, you know, when you go back the next year and you don't remember a username or password and you're trying to fill it out, you know, it gets stressful. So make sure to write that down, save it. Um, it's also stressful for your parents. It's not just about you. So make sure to just talk to your parents about it. Um, talk about all the required documents you need. And if you need help filing it, contact your financial aid office. And I know they also offer FAFSA classes you can take to kind of show how to do it. So I hope this was helpful. I'm super excited to be back on campus this year and I'm super excited to see everyone. And I hope everyone has a great fall semester and the rest of the year. Go Rockets!